everybody, it's Steve, KI4KWR, with John N9UPC from Yesu. We are going to do a sneak peek on the FTDX101D. So, John, what does this wonderful HF rig do? So, um, our FTDX101D is entry into the SDR market. It is uh, one of our premier HF radios that brings that functionality that people want of an SDR radio and then also combines with the Yesu quality that people have come to know and love. Good. So, uh, all these knobs here, looks to me like it has, you know, its own, you know, A side and B side knobs, so it's not, you know, one knob using the same for both bands. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, a lot of our customers have come to love um, our radios, such as like the FTDX 5000. If you're a contester, you need to have some of that functionality of the radio right at your fingertips. The FTDX 101D here offers actually two sets. So not only do you have one row, which is this main row here, for to control the operation of the main side of the radio, but you also have a completely duplicate set of the knobs and um, uh, buttons here to operate the sub band at the same side or at the same time. All right, so I'm looking at the screen here, and something on the bottom here looks like it's like three dimensional. That is correct. Um, not only do we want to give you the active waterfall display and the ability to actually see the signal, which is you know kind of a core principle when you're dealing with SDR capabilities, but we've actually created a 3D waterfall display also too. So not only will you be able to see signals and peaks and in a waterfall display, but you'll actually be able to see as the signal moves away as time continues, you'll start to see that signal move away. So if let's say for example you're working FT8 or other types of um, even voice conversations that you really want to see, hey, where's that signal at? Maybe I need to adjust it to the left or the right side a little bit of the frequency. You'll be able to see that accurately with that 3D display on there. Nice, nice. So this is the 100 watt version. Okay. That is correct. All right, and availability. Um, the availability is we're looking for March of 2019 here right now. Okay. Um, you know, some of the other neat kind of features that we actually have built into it um, is, is we actually have your uh, band selection, which is right on the top here. And one of the unique things that we wanted to do, because some people are saying, hey, you know, right now I have the dual frequencies on the screen here. Maybe I need to want to, you know, necessarily change this a little bit to move the screens around, change display a little bit. Our nice thing with your band selection here is you see there's actually two different colors. The blue is selection of your main band, and the white is selection of your sub band. So at a quick glance, you can see here, oh, okay, my blue is on 40 meters in this case. And then, hey, maybe I want to change my sub band right away. I can click over to sub band, and I want to go up to 10 meters. Boom, now you can see I'm on 10 meters, and there's the frequency right there. So really, if you're actually paying attention to the activity on the screen here, and not necessarily the frequencies, you can always glance over to the quick look keys on there. Yeah, good. Okay. Then in addition, what we have too, is we also have a dual tuning knob system, which a lot of people have um, actually kind of been asking for on there. And what the case is in this case, not only, so in this case, I have the main um, band selected here, I can actually, oh, as I touch the screen there, you see it is also full touch screen. But if I want to actually take, I can enter the frequency here. But if I want to actually adjust the frequency, let me go ahead and actually I'll put in, let's put in six meters here. Whoops. But we'll leave it right there <laughs> for right now. But if I want to adjust it, you can see on the outer ring or the main dial ring, I can actually adjust the frequency. Now, if you want to change something such as our VC tuning capability, clarifier on there, what you can actually do is you can actually select the secondary ring, which will allow you to do those functions. So not only can you change the frequency and operate the frequency here, but if you need to, you can adjust some of that other functionality in there. One of the biggest things that we are excited about with this radio is the VC tuning feature. And the VC tuning feature is gonna go ahead and help you adjust your bandwidth when using SDR to make sure you're getting that main signal coming into there and not necessarily getting stuff on the edge or stuff that might be adjacent frequency which can kind of cause an issue. Good. All right, guys, this is Steve, KI4KWR at the 2019 Orlando Hamcation 7-3.